channel. Uh, today's look is just a very simple kind of glammy um, smoked lower lash line area here with some big fluffy flashes, flashes, lashes. What the heck? Anyways, um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that um, I really messed up on this one because I created this video with. Um, this eye already complete in my foundation on and then I wanted to do this eye and then finish the face with concealer, bronzer, blush, highlight, and lips and half of that was not recorded. I almost cried, like literally almost cried, but I didn't. So um, I'm still going to put this video together for you just to show you how I created the eye look and basically the face is kind of like I've done every other video, it's just... Um, probably different products I don't know but I'll make sure everything's listed down below as always anywho um, I hope you guys enjoy this video tutorial and follow me thumbs up subscribe and all that good stuff on all social medias and yeah let's just jump right on into it thanks guys bye so as always starting off with Mac Pro Longwear's concealer um, in NW20. I just love using this as my base and primer and it just helps cancel out any redness that I always tend to have. I'm gonna grab my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Um, I seem to gravitate towards this for almost any look I do. And I'm going to start off with that bone color. Um, it's called Heaven, and I'm just gonna place this all over my lid from the brow to the lashes, uh, just to go ahead and set that concealer that we just placed. And next we're going to start giving a little definition to the crease. So I'm going to start with the lightest color in Nudie. And I'm going to get a fluffy brush and just place that in the crease. Um, not being so specific since it's such a light color, you pretty much can't mess up with this one. And the next color I'm going to grab from the same palette is Cashmere Bunny. It's a little darker than Nudie and I'm going to use a little more um, of a denser brush and just going to concentrate that a little more in the crease. And moving on to the next color, if I could figure out which one it is, duh. I'm gonna grab another deeper uh, shade, it's called Risqué, and I'm gonna get a more of an angled brush. It's a skinnier angled brush, I don't even know how to describe it. And I'm just gonna put that inside the crease. I'm not gonna take that up or take that down whatsoever. And once all that is put on there, I'm just going to grab a blending brush and just smooth um, everything out. the lower lash line I'm gonna grab Art and Inn's Modster Black Eyeliner. We're gonna place this in the waterline and then we're gonna smudge it out with a, a pencil brush. And 
it excuse me while I cough? Sally. Next, we're gonna jump into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Couture Palette. I've been loving this palette. I'm going to be grabbing both espresso, no, that is not espresso, that is Morocco, both Morocco and fudge. And first I'm gonna grab fudge and um, brush that onto the lower lash line. And then with that same brush, I'm gonna grab Morocco and do the same exact thing. grab matte cosmetics um, eyeshadow and floof this is my absolute most favorite color for the um, tear duct for the top eyeliner I'm gonna grab Argency Inn's punker liner and I'm just gonna lightly line the top um, lid. I'm not going to give myself any sort of wing, any anything. I just like doing this prior to um, putting on lashes just to make sure it's seamless from my natural lashes to my falsies. Then I'm going to grab my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and place that on my top lashes. And for falsies, I'm going to be grabbing my Velour uh, Rich Fluffies. And I have literally been loving these. I tried them on the other day, and they're very, in my opinion, dramatic, but I just love them. They're not like your everyday lash you want to wear, but I have been gravitating to them ever since. And of course, applying that with my Thrive Cosmetics Lash Adhesive. So now that we're done with the eyes, we're going to move on to the face and I'm grabbing Jouer's new anti-blemish uh, treatment concealer. It is a powerful and antioxidant rich blends of vitamins A, C, E, uh, also has green tea leaf extract uh, to fight free radicals from a fresh, flawless face. So just going to go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender as always.
And right about now is the time that I'm going to realize that I didn't record my whole face. So can't do anything about that, so let's move right on into the lips. Gonna grab Anastasia of Beverly Hills uh, Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in Trust Issues. And on top of that, I'm just gonna place um, Dusty Rose in the center of both the bottom and top, just to give it a little softer look. I'm just going to use the tips of my fingers just to help blend that in. And there you go. This is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.